How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi, and welcome to another Spyro related video. Yeah, that right there folks, looks like Spyro with a number 4 at the bottom. Toys for Bob, the creator behind two iconic platformers, Crash and Spyro, well, their second art book is getting released very soon. Amazon has a release date slated for the 18th of December. The art of Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, was first teased via Amazon UK. Naturally, we had a placeholder front cover and a placeholder release date. This art book is written by the same author, Mickey Nielsen, for The Art of Spyro, which was released back on July 31st, 2020. The cover art for the Spyro art book was drawn by Nicholas Cole, one of the artists who worked on Crash and Spyro at Toys for Bob. Fun fact, he designed Spyro and Crash for this new generation. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. As for the Crash Bandicoot art book, it's also by another artist at Toys for Bob, this time Nicholas Saviore. Both these art books are pretty huge. The award goes to Crash 4 with 312 pages. Spyro had 240 pages. With the background stuff out of the way, let's put our focus back onto the Crash art book especially this one page in particular. What we're looking at here is the snacks dimension from Crash 4. You know the downtown city of Crash Bandicoot, all the cars, the buildings, and everything. In this concept, Spyro is hidden deep beneath, with a number 4 at the bottom. You might say, well, it's just for imagination purposes, Vivi. But then again, we're talking about a studio who brought us Crash 4 and Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Would they really take the risk just to cause an uproar in the fanbase. Hey, here's Spyro 4 by the way, guys. Uh, just to put it out there, it doesn't really mean anything. Do you really believe they had that mindset when putting Spyro with the number 4 at the bottom? I'd like to believe Spyro 4 will happen. I'm hopeful for a sequel. It's only a matter of time. You're not convinced? Hmm, let's see. Courtesy of Spyro Universe and Crashy News on Twitter, there's a small paragraph on one of the pages. Let's read it. In the far background is Dingo's Diner, and Crash is trying to get there. This is a takeout where cars drive through, and Crash is jumping between the cars that are having their orders taken. It was fun to combine Dingo's Diner with the futuristic element, to have those cars flying with the city down below, and a little hint of Spyro. Frank's Plump Wiener's Kiosk Bot. Hmm, if you ask me, this is their way of saying, yeah, something's cooking, but we're not ready to say what it is exactly. But we can all guess. I mean, they're throwing a blatant hint out there for us. If we are getting a sequel to Year of the Dragon, I mean, it's the most logical next step. Same scenario as Crash 4, just pick up where the trilogy left off and just make a sequel to that. Let's not forget Crash 4 does have Spyro Easter eggs. Although it was expected, it's still a way of showing that Toys for Bob cares about Spyro. I don't know about you, but I'm excited at the prospect of a new Spyro game. If Toys for Bob attempted to add more story content to the Crash universe with Crash 4, I mean look, at least they tried. I feel Crash 4 could have used more in the story department. Lack of interaction and scenes and stuff like that. This is something I've said plenty of times now. What I'm trying to get at. Spyro compared to Crash. Well, Spyro always had the upper hand in terms of storytelling. At least looking at it from the very beginning. Yeah, it's a platformer, but Spyro naturally has that story element present. And just imagine what the next story or villain of Spyro 4 would be like. There's so many possibilities. Let me just throw this out there. If Cinder appears, you know the female dragon from the Legend series? I mean, a reimagined version of her won't get me surprised. Not even to the slightest. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the demand for Cinder? It's a popular one, right? And, uh, there's something I'd like to say as well. Looking at this? No. Whatever you see on 4chan? Hall of Gods? Or Crash Legends? It's 4chan. And don't forget that. Like I said on Twitter, it's not worth pulling our hair strings over. It's 4chan. I'm not going to even bother discussing this any further, but I gotta hand it to them. Whoever drew these, they surely had too much fun. They look great as logos, but I don't believe this. Lastly, if Spyro 4 is in the works, who's making it? 
Easy guess would be Toys for Bob. They did the Reignited Trilogy. Okay, yes, they needed Sanzaru to finish Spyro 3, but the main team was Toys for Bob. And why am I focused on Toys for Bob exactly? Well, one, they're a big studio, yes, like I just said, they needed help from a third-party developer, Sanzaru. Perhaps their reasoning for that is they handle multiple projects at once. Speaking of that matter, Crash 4 entered development in 2017. This information I found on DeviantArt by one of the artists who worked on Crash 4, Rob Duenas. Right under this artwork of his, he states that he started working on Crash 4 in 2017. What else was Toys for Bob working on around that time? What game released in 2018? Spyro Reignited. Also, an article by VentureBeat stated that Crash 4 began development in mid-2017, after the completion of the Insane Trilogy. I believe that's what they're referring to by Trilogy. So yeah, with that said folks, I believe this is it for the video. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. What do you think of this potential hint in the art book of Crash 4? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for always tuning in. Until next time.